Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to turn your Windows 7 client computer into a web server by installing the Internet Information Server. This feature will come in handy if you'd like to serve up web pages on a small scale to the Internet or even more likely have private web pages for your home office or small office environment, uh, calling that an intranet. So we're going to start out by installing Internet Information Services. I'm logged on to my Windows 7 virtual machine running in VMware Player with administrative privileges. I'm then going to click on Start and then I'll click on the Control Panel and I need to go into Programs, Programs and Features and then turn Windows Features on or off. The Windows Features dialog box comes up and we can turn Windows Features on or off from here. And if I expand Internet Information Services and then expand the World Wide Web Services, I have the opportunity to check common HTTP features, which is important, health and diagnostics, which is important, and security which is also important. From here I also would like to add the management tools so if I expand web management tools I can check the box to add the IIS management console. This will allow me to manage websites. I'm then going to click OK and this is going to add these features to my Windows 7 computer. So I'll fast forward through this portion. All right, our installation is complete. So let's close Control Panel, and we're actually going to go back into Control Panel, except we want to get into System and Security. And then we'll click on Administrative Tools. And here, we now want to launch our Internet Information Services Manager, which is what we just installed. Inside of Internet Information Services Manager, you will see that I've got the name of my computer, BK-CL1. That is the name of the host computer. And if I expand that, I've got a Sites folder. And if we expand Sites, I've got a default website. This would be my internet website. And this would run on TCP port 80, 80. If I also want to make an intranet site for sharing within my home office or small office, I can certainly do that by right clicking on the sites folder, left clicking on add website, and now I'm going to call the site intranet. And the physical path for intranet is going to be in the default location of C colon slash inet pub slash dub 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 root. And this is where IIS likes to store websites or web files by default. We now want to change the port though from port 80 which is an internet web address port to port 4444 so this will not be accessible from the internet. Furthermore you would have to know what the port is on your intranet to be able to view the web page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and look at my summary page and there I've got a default website and an intranet website. So this concludes my demonstration on how to install IIS and add a intranet website on a non-standard port. Please check back for another video on how to test IIS connectivity. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you very much for watching.